Hey, welcome back to Mystery Quilts Anonymous. I'm going to be showing you how to do Queen of Diamonds Clue 1 today. There's a bit of mystery about it, so I'm going to take the mystery out. Let's look at the directions here. All right, so it tells you to fold your squares in half. I think I'll work with a big one just to make it bigger for you so you can see. Okay, it says we're going to... No matter what it says, this is what we're going to do. All right, that's how I find the center. And then I just bring my thumbs down. And if you can see that little crease there, right there, and right there, that's where we're going to sew our sides on. Okay, so we're going to take the smaller of the triangles first, which is going to be your dark. And I'm going to do the same thing, except this time I'm going to put the wrong sides together, put a little bit of crease there, and then I don't know if you can actually see that, my creases are going to nest right there, and then I'm going to sew. So let's take this to the sewing machine. I've got black thread in so that you can see what I'm doing. And I also want you to notice that the triangle hangs off both ends of this, okay? So I'm gonna do both of them at once. Firstly, we'll do the big one. And I'll do the little one so you can see this one as well. Again, we're using our dark and light, folding it to the center making both of our little folds and the same for this one, okay? Right down in there. Okay, now I've already got my crease on this side, so we're just gonna do it again on this side. Easy peasy. Okay, that's the easy bit. Let's just get that sewn on there. One more time with this one. Let's go to the iron. Okay, we're going to iron these toward the corners. So we're just going to lay them down, iron them back. To make this next one easier, we're actually going to trim these off. Okay, easy enough. And we're going to do the same thing again, okay? We're going to bring this to the center, like that, make our finger press marks, and do it again. Oh. I need to show you something on this one, just to help you out a little bit. Okay, to the center, finger press. Remember, if you do this one right sides together and this one wrong sides together, you're going to nest really easily. Okay, I want you to notice again 
that it, the points go off. That little V right there and right there should be your quarter of an inch mark so that you'll just sew right into that V. And right out of the V on the other end. Let me show you on this one. Sewed into the V and out of the V. So now we're gonna do it one more time for this one. This is the hardest go around because it's a lot of finger pressing. Okay. One more big one. Now I probably finger pressed all four of those completely different, but we still got the same thing. same thing again. We're going to press away from the center. Okay, let's trim these corners off. smaller square oops that's one thing you really want to hear isn't it oops <laughs> okay your smaller square it's gonna be a three and a half inch square now and your larger square is gonna be just about six and a quarter I believe that's what it says in the instructions. Anyway, just wanted to confirm with you. Okay. Now, the next round is easier to put on because we already have our centers marked by the point. So, I got a dog. Guys. Sorry about that. So we're going to do the same thing again. Remember on the large one, I'm going to lay it out first so you can see it. The large one is different in that we have three light sides around our dark ones. And then we're going to have one medium corner. So I'm going to sew that medium corner on first. And then I'll sew the lights on. All right, doing this one, we have our finger press and we have our point. So I'm going to lay that right on the point. Notice you'll have, I don't know if you can see it, you'll have your point hanging off the square in both corners. Another thing you might want to notice, this is on the bias, so you need to be very careful not to stretch when you do it this way. You may want to starch first. You may want to wing it like I do. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time and then I'm going to let you carry on because this is just more of the same, okay? Finger press your triangle. Remember, we already have our point there, so we're going to meet those up. We have a point hanging off here and a point hanging off here. Okay, 
so then this is going to go back and you can see where it's going to be. All right, then remember to do opposites first. It's going to look like that. And then finish up with your last two on this one. On your small one, this one's going to go back. But we have all four the same color. So it's going to look like this when it's finished. Give or take. It's going to be a little better, but you see what I mean. Make sure that you have your quarter of an inch here, 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 and here so you don't lose your point. You can see I didn't lose my point here, nor here. Making sure that you have your quarter of an inch. Okay, and that's clue one on Queen of Diamonds. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks.